Cancer, welcome to May 2016. I love this month for you. You're feeling life is abundant and beautiful and that all you desire is coming to you. It is so amazing. As you go into May, the sun is shining Jupiter on May 3rd. Then the Taurus new moon is trining Jupiter and Pluto and the sun exactly trines Pluto on the 7th. Jupiter moves direct on the 9th. This is phenomenal energy for everyone. And for you, it is all about increasing your money and your wealth and your income from the business you own or the company you work for. This gorgeous Taurus new moon is happening for you in this area of your ideals, your hopes and wishes, sudden opportunity, unexpected windfall and it's forming a gorgeous earth trine to Pluto in the area of relationships, other people, your public, your colleagues, to Jupiter in Virgo in the area of communication, speaking, writing, teaching, social media. And it is absolutely fabulous. All month this energy is going on because Mercury is retrograde, Venus picks it up, on the 10th, she trines Jupiter. On the 13th, she trines Pluto. And Mercury is retrograde until May 22nd. He's also involved with his Grand Earth trine all month. He's just camped out there. And so this Grand Earth trine just keeps going on and on for the merry, merry month of May. And I love this energy for everyone. And for you, you've got it in a money house. It's in the area of the money you make from the business you own or the money you make from the company you work for. And so you're getting a promotion, you're making more money, you're really feeling the abundance of life and the power of manifestation. If you think it, you can create it. If you visualize it, you can create it. And you're seeing the beauty in life. I love this energy. Your hopes and wishes are realized. Yours is a beautiful life. Money grows. You're living the dream and the abundant life. Now, the sun will couple with Mercury on the 9th. This is a wonderful time to be listening to your higher power, your inner being. There could be messages for you at this time because you could be getting important insights and messages on the Taurus new moon on the 6th. And then when Mercury transits over the sun, I think the last time he did that was 2006. It's kind of a rare thing, and I think the next time he does it is 2019. I don't know how I remember these dates, but it is a rare transit, and it exactly couples with the sun on May 9th. And that's important messages coming to you from your higher self, higher power, or other people, right? Creator can talk to us through other people, through nature. The key is to be listening. And then Venus steps in and starts trying in Jupiter and Pluto, Grand Earth trying. Woohoo! That's money. That's abundance. So you've really getting a big hit in the money belt. You've got Venus in the money house, the sun in the money house, the moon in the money house, Mercury in the money house. Mercury is just camped out there. Now, usually I'm like, oh, Mercury retrograde, communication, oh, right? But this month, it's different because Mercury keeps going over Jupiter and Jupiter and Mercury together bring commerce, they bring business, they bring prosperity and they're going with it with Pluto which is big money, big prosperity, big opportunity. Now Mars is retrograde and so and this is in the area of work for you and so you know it doesn't all have to happen in May. I mean yes this earth energy is going on but that doesn't mean that it has to happen in May. It could happen in May, it may happen in June, or it may happen at your birthday in July because Mars goes direct on June 29th. And with Mars going direct on June 29th, July is going to be more of an action time. And so is August because Mars will be out of his shadow period by August 21st. He re-enters Sagittarius on August 2nd and he doesn't get back up there till that 8-9 degree mark where he retrograde 
until August 21st. He re-enters Scorpio on the 27th, and that brings you, on May 27th, that brings the action back to uh, to love and romance, creative self-expression. And so he is the planet of energy, action, and desire. And so, you know, yes, there's wonderful things happening in May. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel abundant. You're going to feel beautiful. However, you know, when we do business, when we do things with other people, we have to wait for their astrology to kick in. And so, you know, if it doesn't happen in May, know that it is going to happen right because you know 2016 is a nine year and nines are about completions they're not about new beginnings and nines are also about wisdom wisdom game from from hard knocks or wisdom game from life experience and as you entered 2016 mercury went retrograde on january 5th right so we're like five days into january and bam we're in a retrograde so it's like the universe is telling you okay cancer we're giving you the abundance, we're giving you the good vibrations, doesn't mean you have to take action right now. Doesn't mean it's time to launch, right? And so 2017 is going to be a one year. 2017 is where, you know, it's time to start new things. This is what I, I'm getting. And, uh, you know, th this is what I'm getting. You know, you are still the authority of your life and this is a general forecast. Um, so, I mean, this is a great energy. It's a fabulous energy. It's an awesome energy. Mercury is also retrograde. Now, he does move direct on the 22nd, and Jupiter moves direct on the 9th, which starts to move things forward. It starts to move the energy forward, which is always a plus. However, you know, there are times when it's great to start something new. For, for what I'm seeing, that would come in July and August. And Mercury is going to retrograde again August 30th, so he'll be retrograde most of September, right? It could be that, you know, October, November, and December are going to be, you know, big months for everybody where we're all just jamming and working and, and really cooking, right? I'm getting very strongly from the universe for all of us is to move slower this year. Take our time. Not be in a hurry for anything. And so, you know, it's, it's just an interesting time. I mean, there's this gorgeous earth energy going on all month. And it is phenomenal. And it is abundant. And it's prosperous. And it's opportunity. And it's healing. At the same time, I'm getting strongly is that it's not a time to push. It's actually a good time to pause, reflect, digest, integrate, and see how far you've come and wait for the time of taking action. Like when's the best time to launch a new business, a new project, a new idea, start that new job, you know, is, is uh, when would be that time to do it? I say July, August and then October, November, December is the best time. But, you know, I'll be back for June and I'll talk about it then. Again, for you, this is a gorgeous month. You're having an amazing month. It is a marvelous, marvelous energy for you. Now, it's really interesting because as the sun enters Gemini on the 20th, you have the Sagittarius full moon on the 21st. Mercury goes direct on the 22nd. Venus enters Gemini on the 24th. Jupiter and Saturn are squaring on the 26th. That also says don't expand business, right? However, you may be feeling like there's endless avenues for creating beauty in your life. And I love when the sun goes into Gemini because everyone's more talkative, everyone's more open and fun and light and sharing. And so it's a very positive energy. And so is the Sagittarius moon. It's a party moon. Woohoo, let's party. And this is interesting because the action really is with the uh, mutable signs this year. The Geminis, the Sagittarians, the Virgos, the Pisces, because that's where the action is. And the Sagittarius full moon has the grand square in it. You have the, the sun in Gemini, 
the moon in Sagittarius, Mars is in Sagittarius, Saturn is in Sagittarius, and you have the sun over there in Gemini, and then Venus is going to join uh, the sun on the 24th, and so there's this grand square. Now, grand squares are very dynamic. They're very compelling. They compel us to take action. They compel us to do something, to shift and change. And so this is a very dynamic energy. But it is energies that are at cross purposes. One energy says, take action, take a risk, move forward. Another energy says, no, don't, don't, don't move forward, don't take action. One energy says, love your freedom and be free, follow your dreams. And the other energy is going, no, don't do that. Be very dutiful. <laughs> Focus on your duties and chores. <laughs> Which can be crazy making, right? Because we're being pulled in so many directions and, you know, it, it's like we've got multiple personalities going off in every direction, right? We just, I, I, I'm going to be dutiful. No, I'm going to be free and carefree and forget duty, you know? I'm going to take a risk. No, I'm going to keep everything the same, you know? So, um, it will be fun. It will be a lighter energy, but it may be, you know, kind of uh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because people could flip on you too. You know, one minute they're, I'm here to work, and the next minute they're like, nope, gone fishing, <laughs> I'm going to the beach, you know. And so, um, and that's another environment that's very challenging to launch a business or move forward or get anything done. So it is going to be interesting uh, what happens at the end of May with all of us, and then going into June with this dynamo energy um, that's pulling us in multiple directions simultaneously. You know, a trine, a grand trine even, it's not very compelling. It's just flowing. Life feels good. Life feels healing. feels nourishing and nurturing and prosperous and abundant. You just want to, you know, mm, it's like a delicious meal. You just want to enjoy it, right? But it, it doesn't necessarily compel you to do anything, right? Whereas this energy, the Sagittarius full moon and moving into the Gemini cycle, is very compelling to take action. But what is the action you're going to take? <laughs> and so for you, it is involved with uh, your health and your work habits, your mind, your super conscious mind, your conscious awareness mind. So it's deeply spiritual for you as well because when that sun moves into Gemini on the 20th, you're now entering your six week cycle. Six weeks before your birthday, you get the entire soul year's lessons, initiations in that last six weeks leading up to your birthday. Then on your birthday, you get the new solar energy for the new solar year that'll take you to, to your birthday of 2017. So when the sun moves into Gemini, it's a time where you are kind of moving behind the scenes and working on completions, working on finishing things up. And do it. Feel it. You know, it's where you're supposed to be. Mars backs into Scorpio on the 27th, and that brings the energy back to your creative self-expression, self-confidence, romance, right? And so, very dynamic month. I love May, because there's so much positive energy in here. And man, if we got to have a grand square, let it be in the mutable signs, because they're fun. And they're, it's much easier. It's much easier to manage energy like this in mutable where it's adaptable and more flexible than it is, say, in the fixed signs where it's just stubborn and everyone's fighting. And this is more flexible and adaptable. So I do think uh, this is easier energy to manage. Um, but it, like I said, it could be a bit crazy making because people can flip on you. One, you know, they're one way they're this way on Tuesday and then on Thursday they're different. You know, they're not the same. They're all over the place. And so that can be challenging to navigate. It's like trying to get all your horses going in the same direction. One horse is going off this way, the other horse is going off that way. And so, you know, it's, it's uh, going to be an interesting June. May is gorgeous. May is just amazing and healing and it's prosperous and it's abundant and you're feeling that abundance and beauty in your life. The challenge is where do I focus my energy? Because there's so many endless avenues for creating beauty in your life that you could be finding yourself, you know, over here and then over here. Well, I want to do this and I want to do this. I, as a coach, when I coach people, I say, don't do more than three things. Do not add more than three things. Because after three things, you're not effective. So, 
you want to be the master of things, not the jack of all nothings, right? So focus your energy on three things, no more than three things. Even if you feel like you can do more, you're just dissipating your energy. Yours is a beautiful life. Money is growing for you. This is amazing. So for those of you interested in love, you know, with the retrogrades, they love to bring people from your past back. And so you could be, uh, you know, reigniting uh, a flame with someone, you know, from your past, whether it's through work or a group you belong to or where you hang out or friends. You could have a love come back. Um, and that love could be someone new, but actually is a past life from your past lives. Comes back, soulmate from past lives comes back. Um, with the Mars dipping back into that Scorpio, that's kicking in the romance area for you. So true love and romance is going to be really strong for you in June and July because he doesn't make it back into the work area again until August 2nd. So, you know, June, July, your birthday cycle, love is in the air. True love, romance, creative self-expression. Living the dream, baby. Living the dream. For those of you already coupled, this is a wonderful time because of this grand earth trine and Pluto in that area. You can really deepen the commitment, deepen the connection, and it's all through communication. It's all through sharing, sharing your ideals, sharing your hopes and wishes, sharing your dreams come true. Together, you're making it happen. Career, is there some sort of promotion happening for you at this time? Because it sure does look it. It really does uh, seem like either your business is expanding or you're moving up in the organization you're in. It's very good. It's exciting. Spiritually, you're growing. This is a deeply spiritual month for you and next month. Um, strong spiritual time for you. How is your health? You do have Saturn there. And, you know, Mars is there until the 27th. And then the full moon is there, right? Saturn tests us wherever he is. And so this is a time for you to look at how you're taking care of yourself. Remember, your wealth is in your health. The better you feel, the more you can do. The more you can attract. The more you can accomplish. Now, with this grand earth trine, it's incredibly healing. So this is a time for you to heal your body, heal your heart, heal your mind, heal yourself. This is a wonderful healing energy. I love what I'm seeing here for you. It's all about living the abundant life. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plusing my podcast, Cancer. You're so awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like me to take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. The link is below in the show more section. It takes you to my astrology page. You purchase a session, point check out, you get the link to my schedule. And we're working together. Or if you're interested in coaching, you want to start a new business, you got a new idea, you want to talk about your health, your well-being, it's very easy. Go to my coaching page, you purchase a session, upon checkout, you get the link to my schedule, and we're coaching you. So until next time, Cancer, this is all about you living the dream and the abundant life. Your life is abundant and beautiful. Yippee! <laughs>